Jesus Munoz shares his improvisational style of flamenco. What's the most important note in a piece of music? Silence. For me, and I think for many, for many other people that I, that I respect, that I admire, being able to manipulate that silence is, is what a lot of music is based around. It's not, it's not actually what other people think, and it's like the, um, you know, the, the million notes. So Although that's... The guitar so Yeah, or the other. All right, all right. The, the feet. But, we're, but it's that silence. It's learning how to, how to let that ebb and flow of the silence move you. And um, I think uh, Antonio Gades said something once. Mm -hmm. I said, bailan, bailan, bailan todos, mm -hmm. pero solo paran los toreros. That means everybody dances, everyone keep on moving. And I've heard this said before, everyone keep on moving. It takes an artist to learn how to stand. You have to, what we call aguantar or wait, mm -hmm. and you're there. And you only go when you're, the cante, the cante flamenco eats away at you. That's what we're like. It you know. begs you. It's like, you, you, you it, ha it has to. It has to call you. Mm -hmm. If you're just moving to move, that's you know that's not necessarily flamenco dance. You know, I mean that's it's not it hasn't called you yet. It has to call you. What is the art of flamenco to you? It's a language. Mm -hmm. It's a way of life. I didn't always think about it that way, but every single thing I do now, every single thing I do, mm -hmm. is related to flamenco. But really, it's when you get to the, this, this base of techniques and you're able to use it to speak. Yeah, so it's not just important to articulate, but it's also important to be able to use that to be able to speak this language. an improvisational element or is it all very tightly choreographed? Depends what type of flamenco. Um, some flamenco is strictly choreographed. This person will not miss a single note. They will dance the same dance every single time. Sure. But as a solo artist, hmm. you're like a jazz, almost like a jazz percussionist that hands back and forth and you're going back and forth. If I call, ba, 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 hu, da, 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 I'm going, da, da. <sighs> I have to wait. And I wait for that song to come in. So that improvisation is is a tag back and forth, yeah? Sure. You go back, forth, here you go, here, you know, until it finally brings it all in. But yeah, the improvisation in, in this type of flamenco, uh, por derecho, yeah, por derecho, like that style, that philosophy, it's, um, it's super interactive. And you can, you bring other people who've never done it before, who are amazing dancers, and it's an entirely different world. It's like you just got, you just gave them a whole set of tools that they don't know how to use yet. Hmm. That's what's so important for me to continue a legacy of, 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 of that improvisational style, of that language, mm -hmm. yeah, to speak that language. You know, how would you describe yourself as an instrument? Or do you even consider yourself, your body, the instrument? My body an instrument? Oh, definitely. We are music. Hmm. We, we have a certain rhythm. And if you're not clear with that rhythm, yeah, you can't bring in those musicians. You have to be a musical instrument. What is that? What does be the music mean to you? I think when we think of uh, people think of music, they think of most artists, you know, when we're sitting back on, a, on like an armchair, you know, saying, well, you can read all the music, you can see it. But some, what happens in flamenco art is that a lot of this, a lot of the uh, oral heritage, because it's passed down, it's not written. So a lot mm. of flamenco artists don't actually read music. Even really famous artists mm. don't know, don't know, read music or write it. What they do is they feel it. They hear it. They, were, they had it passed down to them. Um, I've had different things passed down to me, so I can pick up a guitar and I can play some guitar, but not because I ever knew anything. It's because I, I felt it. I was pass, it had it passed down to me. Um, it was learned directly and indirectly. So I, I couldn't say I know music. I just am. The flamenco dancer has to be the music. If I said, what is that quality that 
Jesus Munoz's signature. How would you describe it to me? Flamenco dancer is a, is a lot of things. Yeah, the way the the reason is different for me is it, I, I dance the way I dance. Mm -hmm. I'm me. You whether you like mm -hmm. me, whether you don't like mm -hmm. me, you will feel mm -hmm. that that's me dancing. You know, you know, you mm -hmm. and people. You know, it, now it is. Was it five or ten years ago? Mm -hmm. Maybe not, because it wasn't the same. I, I couldn't. You're thinking of so many of the things. It's like when you're studying. You know, you're like studying. Mm -hmm. You're like with this. Um, with his notebook, taking notes. And that's, that was a lot of life, you know, mm -hmm. for me. It was taking notes. Um, and as an artist, carrying a recorder, mm -hmm. recording classes, listening to him three hours a day until I took all that stuff, ate it, yeah? I'm eating the stuff. And then I spit out what wasn't valid for me, particularly. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. But everything else, I start making it my own, mm -hmm. yeah? So I, I, start, I start using this and I say, you know what, I like that, I like that technique. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been developed yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that technique and I'm going to develop this, you know, for example, like maybe using my hips in a certain way or a certain type of rhythm. Mm -hmm. I, like to, I like to have swing. about your work? Sharing it. Being able to be that ambassador for excellent flamenco art. Something that's, that really means something, that it's a challenge for me. And those challenges I, I give to other students and to other artists, it has to be that. It has to be about the community. And you have to work, and I think in, for a cultural artist, work to give back. Because if you don't pass it down, Mm -hmm. It's gone. For me, any kind of oral heritage, heritage art form is, uh, is something you need to work so hard at, yeah, with, with a tremendous amount of um, responsibility and respect, and you have to learn to give it away. Mm -hmm.